Ladies and gentlemen, this is Adam Kokosh here at Anarchapolco 2018. I'm here with Jeremy Henriksen, you might know as Art of JPH. And there are only three artists, and i got to put this in context because I, even though it's owned by Facebook, I kind of like Instagram. Uh, it's a unique way of connecting with people visually, and especially for like, you know, my family members. They're, I have all my family members on alert, so when they post something, you know, I, it, comes, it shows up like a text message on my phone. And there are three artists who I do the same thing for. And this guy's one of them. And Jeremy, it was, it was a real honor to meet you here at Anarchapolco last year. And to be in a position to help you, like, hey, get more involved. So, like, that was really cool. And you ended up painting me last year. And it was, it was pretty intense. But um, why don't you tell us, how, how did you first end up at Anarchapolco and, and become a part of this community? Um, yeah, I, I guess it was about a decade ago it started getting into kind of critically thinking. It was kind of later in my life, but it showed up eventually. I guess the public school kind of kind of hurt me in that regard. Uh, but once, yeah, I got into the zeitgeist at first, and then um, some, some of the works of Stefan Molyneux, and uh, just kept going with it, and we started some of our own communities, um, uh, freedom meetups in Vancouver, where I'm from. And uh, one of me and my one of my friends came down, uh, Graham, and we came down together uh, last year and uh, just wanted to check out an, an Arcapoco, and... Uh, um, it was just by fluke. It was uh, watching uh, Mir One paint, another one of the artists, as you mentioned. And um, then that uh, first night, I, you, we were sitting there watching him paint. And uh, I was saying that, oh, I do some of this uh, live painting stuff uh, at home. And he's like, well, you're like, oh, what, do, do you have your stuff with you and everything? And I did by fluke. I usually don't bring it. Uh, but I was, thought I would do some painting on the beaches while we we're here. And um, yeah, you, you were the one that convinced me. I was kind of like, well, I'm not part of it. I don't know if I should get, you know, kind of cramp anyone's style. And you're like, what? It's a bunch of anarchists. What, what are they going to say? You know, you got to. And, and it's you, so you're the kind of person they're going to. What? They're a bunch of anarchists. You think they're going to stop you yeah. from painting in a room where you paid to be? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, and I said, I shot back at Adam there. I said, uh, it's uh, no rulers, not no rules. And uh, But Adam's Adam's the one that kind of uh, gets people to kind of poke <laughs> pokes them a little to, to do something that they, you know, they maybe wouldn't. And I'm glad he did. And so I, I painted him that uh, that first night. Uh, Found him after at a at a we went out to a sushi restaurant after and uh, I think he showed him the work and it was uh, it was awesome you know and everyone loved it it was it was great it was a real like touching moment and uh, I mean I've got to know you since I've got to know the community I got to interact with the people more because of it and it's something that I can contribute to the uh, freedom community and being at this event doing it it's it's uh, honestly it's incredible well, so speaking of that contribution you have a very distinct style. Yeah. Very beautiful and and like really visually unique and it's it's amazing that you've been able to in the modern era it's very rare that an artist can really carve out uh, such a distinct individual style as, as you have but this year you, you were incorporated in the event right I mean the organizers made space for you at the front of the state or it was a little you know as you <laughs> everything this year was pretty haphazard yeah yeah it was a little bit I mean um, they're busy Nathan's busy I get it we're both I think understanding of some of the way <laughs> it was beautiful to see you yeah. next to the yeah, stage yeah. as per, in front of the stage as, as part of that so it was mere one on one side and you on the other and it's like Anarchapulco has two badass resident painters now and this year he did a series of uh, how many speakers um, I did eight it wasn't all speakers I did Nathan as well and Avi like people who do a lot of the most work right kind of yeah. behind the scenes making yeah. it work um, so I wanted to people that had the spirit of the event I want to try to fit them in and it was honestly it was tough because like I I was sacrificing quality even on your piece a little um, <laughs> I was doing my best to fit in more people were asking me to do more they you know certain friends I miss I wanted to do Josh uh, Sigurdsson you know, I couldn't I couldn't get everyone in, but I, I did my best and I was trying to trying to fit in. I think next year maybe two a day is better for me, especially with all the drinking and getting back there early. You know, it's it's tough. Right? Yeah. So yeah. Did, did you get some good commission deals? I mean, people, you know, you, you get some good business exposure out of this, too. I do. Yeah. Yeah. I, I find people uh, connect. Oh, a guy offered me um, to trade like those. They, they were offering on the side um, kind of condos in Nicaragua and Belize. And so they were saying, oh, I'll trade you a couple paintings for a week at the nice. at this. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yes. He's already writing to me and everything and things like so, that. Happen. So you immediately. Immediately filed a report with the IRS about the value of this exchange so it can be accounted for in your taxes, right? Okay. Of course. But it was obviously the first thing on my mind. I mean, you know, I, I could already feel the gun in my ribs. So, <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah, no doubt. All right. Well, just about on this issue of contribution, you, you know, and, and 
I, I come from, I want to say, a bit of an artist background myself, having you know been involved in photography. I did a little painting in high school and things like that. And I've kind of gotten away from that to, to focus on politics. And in a way, I've, I've robbed myself. You know, I, even with like with music, uh, I don't really take the time in my life to appreciate music the way that I used to. But definitely not visual arts, although it's starting to come back, and we're seeing now with this vibrant culture developing and, and here in Acapulco, yeah. very strong, you know, uh, just node for all of that. Yeah, next so, year, next, next year. <laughs> so for your art and your role in this movement, what do you see really, there's, there's something deeper in this. There's some, some bigger reason you're here and why you value being incorporated like this, that you're not just an artist who happens to be a part of this community. You are an artist as part of this community. What does that mean to you? Um, it means a lot, so it's like as much as I can, to bring um, some elements of what I do to the movement. And uh, for me, doing it live at an event like this, um, sometimes because of the kind of people that show up to this, we already know um, a lot of what's going to be being said. We already agree with the principles and the values. Um, but some of the things that are lacking are, are some of the visuals, are some of the music, or some of those parts, like you said, that maybe we lose. So if if I can bring in something, like you say, like if I have a di distinct style in my work and I can bring it with the essence and the elements um, that we already know philosophically, but a visual guide, because because humans, we, we are so um, lean towards uh, being guided by imagery roots religious imagery um archetypes in our in our stories status propaganda yeah. relies on yeah. statues yeah. and paintings yeah. and yeah. grandiose yeah. intimidation yeah absolutely and honestly more power to them in a way uh no because they're aware no no, no. less power less to them, power to them. Yeah, yeah no but i mean you could give the devil his due kind of thing i mean sure. it's um i i think it doesn't matter what it is almost like like we do need that to to, to guide us in some way, it could be good or evil or in between, right? Like those things, those things um, guide our life in some way, right? The cross, right? Like and and um, for me, like the the thing that I brought this year, I um, I wish we don't have it here, but um, I, I I have an issue with the um, the anarchist A, and um, even though people like you and I, we know what it stands for, our community does, and having no rulers and no force and autonomy and that kind of thing. Um, it's unfortunately it's a broken brand. It it's also stands for Antifa. It also stands for anarcho-communism and things that we w would really fight, and um, because those aren't free and those um, and those are dangerous philosophies. Um, so I, I created an imagery that was more about volunteerism and freedom with a caged bird and a winged one, with with your book uh, Freedom, um, in the background. They had a bunch of quotes from the people that have helped our movement. Had Bitcoin. And uh, and it was something that a, a normal person could look at and, and regard and, and see it for what it is and see its beauty and see um, the freedom that, that it would inspire um, without needing needing those things. It, it, it lends itself to the better conversation and more questions than just kind of, you know, if I, if I tell my mom I'm an anarchist, it's, it's kind of like it's a harder talk kind of than saying like, oh, I'm into freedom, I'm into liberty, I'm into volunteerism. And th that people ask more questions with that kind of thing. So I wanted to create the visual imagery that goes along with those questions with that. Yeah, it's sort of like a meta level of messaging. You know, if we're always about black and white, oh crap, <laughs> if we're always, freedom's a black and white issue, but if we're always about the politics and being, you know, hard nosed rationalists, then okay, they, and cap, fine, and the, the A, all right, throw that, you know, and it appeals to that, that angst, but it doesn't appeal to a sense of beauty. Mm -hmm. And when we make just beauty, an appreciation of beauty, a, a, a part of, what this movement is about, it inherently changes our frame of reference that leads us to communicate differently. Do you see a connection like that with, with your art specifically? Yeah, I would say to watch out how you use black and white, you just be called a racist or something like <laughs> that. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think finding those connections um, and not making it just about the tribal warfare in a way between the, the one side or the other, which, which can happen all the time. Um, I, I, I'm very much about like, can you find the middle ground even if someone's standing on the other side? So are you. Right? Like, well, like, like, that's the whole yeah. gist of my strategy yeah. now and, and how we take libertarianism to a broader audience and put it in practical yeah. terms is it's the everybody gets what they want strategy of localization. Similarly, everybody wants visual satisfaction. There's, I don't think I, I, I've ever met a human being. I don't think it's possible. It's sort of like inherent with who we are that we have a sense of visual appreciation of art, of beauty and nature, of everything, right? Yes, yeah, and um, like I said, those those things can be used for good and ill, but we're, we're always gonna have that. We There's certain ways in which we're feels, um, biologically primed to like certain certain things, and like again, that, that bird that I did, I mean, a birds have been used, you know, for status propaganda. It's been used for everything. It has, it, you know what I mean? Like, it shows, yeah. like, like this is, um, yeah, you see it all the time. Right away, I go, oh, the Nazi eagle, right? Yeah. Oh, shoot, Godwin's lie just lost.
<laughs> yeah, well, you got an eagle too, right? You know, not you, but you know, like the states have. I'm Canadian, but like uh, the states have the eagle. And um, I mean, look at this. I mean, I'm I'm wearing this. You know, um, I love this T-shirt. I got it here. But I mean, this this image, you know, of Shay, like it's it's been used. I mean, people think he's cool. You know, like um, I don't know. When I was younger, I probably would have thought that. I I come from that. Like I said, I I still have. A, I, I'll show this on camera. You want to pull this down a bit? Like, can you sure. See that? I, I I come from this. I am. Oh, I am. It's a maple yeah, yeah. It's a maple leaf. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right, yeah. 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 Like I, I <laughs> you know, the thing is, like, I think I like that. Um, I wouldn't never get it, obviously now, but like, it it means more to me today because it shows how much you can change. It shows that like I came from from another way of thinking. It shows how much you can. USMC. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Right. Yeah. I get. I get what you mean. The mark of the state. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, I think that's um, it's kind of a humbling thing to go through those things. And, um, and uh, I think it, it allows, like, maybe it is like some, sometimes people like us, like you, you've gone through it all already. So you're, you're even aware like, Oh, where am I wrong now? You know, like, you, yeah, you, yeah, it's easier yeah. to grow, I think. And, and then you're not so held back maybe by, by tribal values or, yeah, I, I usually find that's the case with a lot of people. They, they're so used to maybe being around that all the time, and they, any new ideas just like kind of they flinch and they're scared. And an anarchist is the anarchist that the, the yeah the scary person that mom thinks is like gonna roll a bomb in the street or something. And or you yeah. come to Anarchapolco, and it's like, oh my gosh, look at all these anarchists wearing suits and looking sharp and giving presentations with slideshows. Oh my, it's so scary. Yeah. They're gonna take down governments. <laughs> well, yeah, we are because we're that much better organized than any other anarchist at this point. But um, of course, and I'll just point this out for anybody who is watching who hasn't heard the word when we say anarchists, and when I use that word, I mean very specifically the exact definition of the word, no rulers. And, th and this is essentially every human being is an anarchist. If you have an independent mind and a free will, you're an anarchist because you don't want someone else to rule you, to be above you, to, to dictate your life. And now the people who get that, as we see here, are part of this beautiful movement. Now, literally beautiful. Now, <laughs> this is a perfect segue for, would you show us what you brought today? <laughs> <laughs> so it would have been beautiful if he had a, a different subject for this portrait but <laughs> it's definitely uh something that you, is a great example of his style and w what do you call the technique um i tend to call it um uh, contemporary impressionism i use a palette knife predominantly to get like the large kind of color swaths and and i cheat a bit with brushes and things i wish and you know, honestly like i'm saying too i wish i had more time like like these ones were that I did. Um, it's not as good as I'd like. I was rushing and, as I said earlier, you know, the drinking and trying to fit in as much as you could. You get tired and I was up there a lot. Um, next year, I think two, two a day is better. Um, and last year's Adam was better. Uh, ho hopefully you'll be able to pick that up. It was one. off message, but it was really cool. Yeah, yeah. The, the Green Hulk. And we'll, get the, we'll have all the pictures, uh, you know, overlaid on this video so yeah. people know this, exactly what you're talking about. This one, I think, represents uh, what Adam calls his new brand, the, um, the, the uh, what, under, underground well, hippie. <laughs> no, no, this is this is definitely more close to my true self, yeah. you know, as opposed to the the artificially imposed personality of the Marine Corps. Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, Jeremy Hendrickson, and you can follow him on Instagram at Art of JPH, and you can find him everywhere else with that as well on Facebook, Art of JPH, yeah, all together one word, right? Any hashtag, uh, Art of JPH, Art of JPH dot com. Awesome. Thank you so much, brother. Thanks so much. Thanks, Adam. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.